first person I noticed at the Hotel Yokola, the site of our last Finnish gig, was an African woman staring out of the window of the bar. She was sitting with friends in one of the tavern's old red leather booths, their table busy with glasses even though it was only late afternoon. The entire tavern was filled with people, and for the first time all trip, I was in a place high and lively with voices. Instead of quietly deliberating their own mortality, the men and women of the Hotel Yokola seemed to be arguing and telling jokes. The bar had dark, creaking floorboards, fat clouds of cigarette smoke, a cranky jukebox, and a television that looked like it had to be hit with a stick to work. <clears throat> like most honest taverns, the walls of the Yokola were hung with photos of people drinking there 70 years ago. Even better, a few of these patrons were still around. They tipped ales in this room from the day the Yokola first opened in 1927 to the moment my friend Al and I showed up to present our pesky hard folk repertoire. Since the hotel stage shows only once a month and because we were the first North American performers ever to play there, I felt privileged and made a mental note to myself not to suck. On the other side of the hotel entrance from the main bar was a lounge with a smaller bar where a tinfoil basket filled with delicious looking fried whitefish and a pitcher of iced orange juice had been set out for us. Beyond the lounge was the hotel's live room where more red leather boots and tables of white tablecloth 